With some prisons bursting at the seams and justice services struggling to deliver more with less, tracking and monitoring technologies have been utilised in more than 30 countries as an alternative to incarceration. John Briggs was tagged and tracked to see how this method is benefiting offenders and communities. Ankle tagging is nothing new, but the latest GPS technology allows you to keep a really close track of offenders using this system. The Ministry of Justice, alongside eight police forces up and down the UK, is embarked on an 18-month pilot to see whether these things can reduce the pressure on an already overcrowded prison system. By being able to monitor the individual using GPS technology, it enables a decision to be made for some individuals to allow them to take a non-custodial um, sentence rather than being sent, automatically being sent to prison. The company was established back in 94. So we have more than 20 years of experience serving more than 30 clients all over the world. Based in Tel Aviv, Attenti specializes in the electronic monitoring of offenders, from home curfew to GPS tracking and alcohol monitoring. It was the first to introduce a domestic violence solution, which is being deployed throughout Europe and Latin America. It allows us to provide uh, devices to both aggressor and victim. Within these two devices, we can track the proximity between the aggressor and the victim, and by this way, enforce the proximity or restriction order of pro proximity from the court. So there's a risk assessment which takes place in the courts or the prisons, looking specifically at an individual, and then the decision is made based on the risk that that individual poses, whether to put them on a tag or not. We then allocate and deploy a field service team to go and fit that tag. Um, once that tag's fitted, we will do the technical bit around it and um, we will give the offender a, a briefing and an induction around what, they, what their responsibilities are. To examine how accurate the new tags are, I'm having one fitted. It would usually go under my clothing, but for the purposes of the experiment, I'm making it fully visible. We've marked some no-go areas on the map locally, and I'm going to see what happens when I walk straight through them. We've marked the bridge as an exclusion zone, but around it you can see there is a buffer or a warning zone that tells me I'm approaching somewhere that I'm not supposed to be. And now that I'm here in the exclusion zone, my ankle tag is really buzzing, telling me I'm definitely in the wrong place. We would monitor that by an electronic, what we call a geofence on the system, and if that location is breached, we would receive an alert and notification and then from that we have a response which is individual to each offender of, of how we progress that and that may be through uh, a visit or, or, or through some sort of enforcement action. It's kind of a reminder like an angel on the shoulder that's reminding them not to uh, fall off the wagon and continue with the good behaviour and you can see a lot of them that even when they finish their suspended sentence or any other sentence they have with wearing a tag they will ask sometimes to continue wearing a placebo tag just in order to stand against peer pressure that they have. There are almost 12,000 people in the UK that are currently on tags, but it's unlikely you would ever know if someone was wearing one. So do the public think tagging offenders is better than sending them to prison? I'm not really sure if that's going to work, to be honest, because they will still have the time to be out and about during the day. Maybe, if they can prove they're worthy of being back out in the street. Well, if they've done something wrong, I'm in favour of it, but me personally, I, I don't like it. So clearly, it's actually not very much on the public's radar. And actually, this is a really good way of dealing with offenders in this country. Prison is expensive. Um, a lot of the buildings are old. A lot of the buildings don't conform with legislation. And I think there's real opportunity, actually, for reducing some of those costs to government. I don't think it's the answer in every case. And I think there aren't any of these type of interventions are only as effective as the package of support and rehabilitation from all agencies you put around them.